let's try this again. This is take five. Lighting should be a whole lot better. We'll, we'll see. Uh, this is, you know, I'm, I'm using my Mobius action camera because my GoPro, my second, let's see, second GoPro has bit the ghost just like the first one did. And, you, you know, you would think that if you're spending that much damn money um, on an action camera that it would last a while. But nope. Nope. Not having it. So, the gun is clear. You just saw that. Um, this is my Bursa Thunder 380 Plus. Uh, this is my carry gun. I've done various videos on this. This is probably the fourth or fifth video. Um, so, I've been carrying this maybe a year. Um, coming up on a year. And uh, I have now uh, 773 rounds shot out of it because I shot 200 rounds tonight. Um, again, this is my carry gun, so I've been trying to be familiar with it. And uh, I think a key to being familiar with it is firing it as much as possible. Uh, shooting it, getting used to the nuances, the characteristics of the handgun. Uh, sight, picture. Uh, acquirement you know is it differs from gun to gun um, and I'm running OEM sites with this uh, as well I mean everything about the gun is stock with the exception of I added some talon grips here we'll talk about that in a minute um, but yeah I now have 773 rounds out of it and I am loving the gun you know it, it not too long ago, probably last month or so, uh, I had been thinking about switching this out for something else because I was having what I what I've heard it called as web bite. Uh, so uh, this gun, because it's a blowback gun and because it's shooting 380, um, has this problem where I mean, if you do a search on uh, Bursa 380 Thunder. Uh, web bite or web pain uh, hand pain uh, you're gonna see people complaining about that and uh, I'll, I'll describe exactly why I think this was happening uh, there were two things um, I think that I wasn't having a firm grip on the gun so I usually thumbs forward that type of a grip but uh I think that because I've been lax in visiting the range and shooting and being familiar with the gun, um, the last couple of outings, which kind of, uh, I guess, was spread out over the last six to eight months uh, with two and three month, in, at one point, a four month gap between range visits. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I was having this problem with the webbing in... Uh, uh, the last three, I think, range visits, I was using Spear Lawman, and two of those three visits, I was experiencing the the web, uh, the webbing of my hand, uh, pain in that in that area. Um, what's funny is that one range visit, I had one range visit where I was using that exact same ammo, and I did not have web pain. So, uh, you know, after reflecting on that and looking at my range notes, I kind of realized, okay, well, it's probably not the ammo that's causing a problem. It's probably my grip. And sure enough, when I went to uh, Google and I kind of searched over different, the different Bursa forums, uh, there were several mentions of the fact that Bursa Thunders, they like the, they like the, the wielder to... Uh, have a firm grip on the gun otherwise it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna bite you and when I say web bite I'm not talking hammer bite I'm not talking slide bite I'm talking I don't know maybe beaver tail bite because if if you've owned one of these or held one of these and uh, it's probably the same way with the non plus models um, as you fill down the edge of these I mean they're they're edges if you fill down the, the back of this 
you're gonna see an edge there you're gonna feel an edge and it's it's I mean it's not gonna cut you if you drag your hand down it but it's definitely uh, sharp and so with the combination of this being a blowback gun and the fact that maybe I wasn't holding it firmly meant that when this thing recoils um, it's got a decent kickback because of the blowback design uh, we all know that 380 ammo is is considered uh, uh, less potent than 9 millimeter ammo it's the same diameter round but there's not as much powder behind uh, the 380 um, lots of people think that it's a weak round um, it's you've never fired a uh, if you've never fired a 380 uh, steel gun such as this or the Walther uh, PPK um, you're not going to be feeling this type of, uh, of pain um, but anyways I, I solved it because I shot 200 rounds out of the gun tonight and I did not have any pain whatsoever I used five different uh, uh, let me pull up my range notes real quick five different uh brands and types of ammo uh, let me see if I can wing it without washing out because if I turn on this monitor it's gonna wash out everything it's gonna make everything look dark um, so I bought a 50 round box of six hour elite performance I think that's 100 grain I bought a 50 round box of magtech uh, 95 grain and I bought two boxes of PPU uh, 94 grain uh, one box was FMJ and one box was JHP um, so that's that's 200 rounds I fired all of that without any problems whatsoever uh, well there was one failure to feed with the magtech I fired that first um, it was the last round out of that box um, but other than that there were no issues there were several there were several instances of the slide not locking back on the last round but I I, I couldn't tr contribute that to a, a particular magazine or ammo because it did it several times with with uh, various ammo um, but that's that's that that doesn't bug me at all um, so um, if you notice here I put talon grips on the gun so uh, there's I think a couple of variations of talon grips this is the rubberized version it's tacky it's not like the uh, uh, sandpaper uh, or skateboard grip tape type um, and what I did was I measured from this side to this side and then I cut a strip a long strip that was shorter that was a uh, not quite as wide as the back strap um, just because I I didn't want to the object wasn't to get rid of the edges the object was to give me more grip along the back here the, in my opinion the the places that offer the most grip on a gun when you're gripping it um, is the back strap and the front strap now this particular uh, model of gun uh, the the regular non pluses they have a total I mean I think they have a they have stippling in the front and the back I think I think about the back I'm not sure uh, but they when you swap out the I guess the grip panels um, it's not one piece like it is this it's two pieces um, so this wraps around the front and leaves the back exposed which is kind of weird um, but um, when I grip the gun and I have my 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 tactical grip um, I feel the strap the front strap biting into my skin it's got like uh, these knobs uh, so it offers traction um, but it doesn't offer traction unless you have like these talon grips on there it's smooth underneath these talon grips all from top to bottom um, as well there's an edge along here and it's not enough to cut but it it does it does hurt um, especially uh, 
as this gun is seesawing back and forth in your hand and you don't have a good grip. It's a combination of that and me tightening my grip. That's why I didn't have an, an issue. Um, so I now have 773 rounds out of the gun. Um, at one point I was thinking I'm replacing it with the Glock 19, which I have and I've been shooting lately. Um, but I, I'm not sure if I want to do that now. I, I've solved the problem of, of, you know, the recoil and the, the biting of my hand. So now we're back to square one. Um as well I can use the Glock 19 as my house gun or my nightstand gun um, but before I do that I need to find a decent light because that thing does have a rail um, and maybe think about which night sights to get because it's got standard uh, sights um, but in the end, I really don't need those. I just need to be able to, I need something that's going to glow. Because I, I do want to be able to see the front sight. I'm not caring so much about the back sight. Um, usually in a, in a self-defense situation, you're not going to be sighting down and trying to get a good sight picture. Uh, all you really care, you should be caring about is the front sight. You put the front sight on where you want to hit and you're going to hit. It's just a matter of where vertically you're going to hit um, so I shot a hundred rounds out of the uh, Glock 19 tonight that puts me at 437 I believe um, which makes that my third most fired gun in my my arsenal this is the second now uh, but I have a uh, over 1300 rounds shot out of my uh, Grand Power P11 that was my previous carry gun um, but the way I'm going I'm gonna exceed that soon um, which is good I mean it's uh, at, at some point I'll, I'll probably end up swapping out this gun for the Glock but there is a defining difference between the two I have confidence in this gun and I have confidence in the in the Glock too but um, this is an all metal gun um, I I've, I've been carrying this about a year I've been shooting this I'm very familiar with it um, I like the weight of the gun it is heavier than the Glock 19 and uh, me going back and forth between the two uh, the Glock 19 shoots 9 millimeter 9 millimeter is more powerful than this and uh, Therefore, I do experience uh, not issues, but there is a, 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 sig a significant recoil difference between the two guns. Uh, with it, you know, with the Glock 19 shooting 9mm and it being lighter than this gun. Yeah, so uh, I have to get used to that, and it's probably not helping that I'm going back and forth between those two guns either. Um, but um, I have grown comfortable with the Glock 19 to the point of where I want to try and start using it somehow so that's why I I'm thinking on using it as a, a house gun a house uh, gun as it relates to self-defense a nightstand gun um, so I will tack on some footage because I have a new toy I have a uh, a glasses mounted uh, action camera that I specifically bought uh, for the purpose of using while I was shooting so you're gonna see a, like a, a first-person perspective of me shooting this is the first time I've ever included something like this I do have some other action cams that would have offered that type of footage but um, I think this one it, it, it attaches to the if you're wearing optical uh, lenses um, corrective lenses or uh, shades of some sort or even uh, safety glasses, you know, range glasses. Uh, they clip onto the arm, and uh, and nothing else is in the way. Um, but it it is highly sensitive uh, to head movement. So any type of small head movement, um, it's gonna it's gonna make the the footage jerky. Um, and you have to kind of be mindful that you know if you kind of uh, gaze away when you're talking or, or always kind of looking around 
uh, it's gonna fuck up your 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 footage you know of the object of your you know that you're trying to capture right so um that is a 1080p uh, camera uh, but uh, the microphone is sensitive enough to where it easily washes out uh, luckily it didn't wash out so much in this in this range footage uh, but um, it, it was the the audio is kind of loudish and I don't know if I can kind of tune that out with uh, the editing tools but uh, we'll see um, so I got footage shooting footage of both this and the Glock 19 and uh, that is all have a nice day have a nice evening folks Yeah.